Hello, I'm Father Bob McGuire and I'm down here in Frankston and we're going to do a, a book reading at the Frankston Library and we're on Frankston TV. Now that woman was pointing at something down there. Well, is she trying to say, are you trying to say the woman in the green, are you mm -hmm. saying that don't forget there's books down the back, is that what you're saying? <laughs> so you want them to go down the back afterwards? Oh, yes, that's right, they look like this. Well, stick to Roman Catholic Church. The church got to the stage after the first 300 years, I think, when in fact we turned into, um, what? A self-contained unit, a ghetto almost, a ghetto, garrison, garrison mentality. And the Roman Catholic Church set off from being, becoming a global church with a central monolithic uh, governance and that, um, that meant we looked after our own, isn't it? Uh, hence the word pastoral care, uh, which sounds good, but it means you look after your own. Uh, Roman Catholics, for various reasons, especially in Australia, um, we've only been here 200 years, haven't we? It's white years. Roman Catholics came here as Irish dissidents, so we formed a, a ghetto within a ghetto. See what I mean? But the tendency has always been look after your, your own. Now, I was, I suppose, lucky enough to be alive in, uh, when, 1950s and 60s, when the Roman Catholic Church globally was um, to told to uh, get out of the garrison and go out into the streets. See? So, I mean, it, it's fascinating to me just looking back. And she did a good job, Sue Williams, in that, uh, in that book. And also the film too, the, what do you call it, film, In Bob We Trust, uh, the, D, the, D, the DVD, uh, ghost filmmakers, they've done a marvellous job too. In, in I don't care what they do with me, I mean, I'm disposable, but I mean, it's what they do with the, uh, what, the, um, uh, the, the statement that a church should be of earthly use. See, if it's of no earthly use, you see, I don't think it's a church, it's a club. See what I mean? So I've got a thing on Twitter today that says something like, I wish all churches, ashrams, temples, synagogues, there's another one, mosques, would turn into pit stops rather than stay comfort stations. Because people will need more and more, especially after the budget. <laughs> well, I mean, you don't even have to be political in this. More and more places to get uh, to go in and, and, and have a, a, what? A pit stop means something to g keep you going, you see? Not just comfort. Now, that's not nice because if my mother was sitting in that chair, thank you for having an empty chair there. That's my mother, Annie. She'd be saying to me something like, Bob, for God, look, behave. <laughs> you know what I mean? Don't upset, you know. Glorious, they're glorious, but they're ordinary. You know, like the look the baby gives you. I think is a gloriously ordinary apparition. You know, because they give you that look, especially us, clergy and that. And once you're back pouring water, no wonder, before you pour the water, they're looking apprehensive. <laughs> So they look, they give you that look, mum knows this, they give you the look that says, I can see right through you. <laughs> Isn't it? See, so they're apparitions to me. See? Can am I, I ruining this or what? I suppose I am. I don't think so. No, well, I'll stick, I'll, you, you're you in charge, I'm sorry. Don't, don't do that to me, don't do that to me. The church has got to go to where people are because people are the 99%. That's the mistake with the budget. Mm. Is that you've got to, once you've lose touch with the grassroots, you see, well, you can, you, can, you can have all the glorious plans and designs in the universe. But if you've lost touch with the grassroots, then it's, 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 a, it's an item, but it's not the real thing. It's the same with your churches and your mosques and your ashrams and your synagogues and your, uh, the other one, temples. You see? 